Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrap Craftastic, and this is my plan with me for week 43. I'm doing a blackout spread in half letter or A5 size, and I use a letter sheet of paper that I fold in half, then fold in half again, and fold in half one more time to give me four equal sections, and I use that to mark my pages to divide it up in four sections for the week on each page. I'm using the Mambi Happy Planner number stamps. It also has uh, holidays included in the set. But these are my favorite um, date stamps that I use. And I'm using Memento White Ink to stamp the dates. You'll see as I go on that I'm not getting a consistent um, vibrance in the stamp. I don't know if my ink pad needs to be re-inked or replaced or if it's just user error um, but it's not as vibrant as I would like it to be so but I'm not going to stop I continue with the stamp as you can see there it's really light it didn't stamp well but again I'm going to keep going and you may have noticed in some of my other videos that I do make mistakes when I'm doing these from scratch spreads but I usually try to fix the mistake or use the mistake as part of the layout where possible. So I try not to just stop and give up and keep going. So here I'm just cleaning my block because I got ink on the edges of the block. It can get a little messy. Um, but, and I also had a little extra ink over the top of those numbers and I just took some black ink and tried to correct that and I'll probably come back later and correct it a little more. So that's it for the date stamps and now I'm taking a Jelly Roll white gel pen and going over the numbers and filling them in so that they are legible. Um, I'm noticing that on camera, the numbers look really faint, but they did look um, a little more vibrant up close in person. So yeah, but I still thought that they needed to be filled in a little bit. Take a Q-tip with a little black ink to correct that a little bit more. This is a woodblock stamp that I've had for a couple of years that I think I got from the Dollar Fifty bin at Michaels. And I'm just using. I'm gonna. And again, it's still stamped very faint. But I'm gonna keep going. This is another um, woodblock stamp from Michaels with the bats and the moon. And this is a witch's boot. I think I may have overdid it with, with the Halloween stamps, but you only get to use them once a year, so I wanna use as many of them as I can. And I kind of thought I had more Halloween stamps than I do, but you just saw me rub that stamp on my hand. I saw that on, in someone's video I was watching, and they said that help the stamps hold the ink when you for the first use. I don't know how well it worked, but I figured I'd try it. Now I'm just filling in once again where the stamp didn't. It was just too light, so I'm filling it in with the white ink, white gel, and, and I'm not going to go over all of the witch's boots, but I kind of hit the main areas to help it stand out a little bit more. Same thing with the um, spider web. I don't want to go over every single web, just want to make it pop out a little bit more. I am going over the bats, though, because I really want those to stand out on the now these are the clickable um, letters that I'm using for the days of the week. Um, and I'm just, you can 
build your own words with these and click them together. So I'm just using the first three uh, letters for each day of the week and just going in and stamping those. And again, I can see on the video where it's very faint, you can, you can barely see it. And I did, I chose not to go over um, the days of the week, but maybe as I work through adding to my plans through the week, I'll go back over those and darken those some. But here you see me clicking the uh, letters together to make Tuesday or Thursday. Yeah, that one's Thursday. There's Tuesday. And now I'm starting to add my plans. We have ballet Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Noting here that early voting starts here on Monday morning. Noting my payday on Wednesday and that I need to set out the trash, need to set out the recycling on Thursday. We also have ballet on Saturday morning and Nutcracker rehearsal. So, and again, I'm just going over the downstrokes on some of the plans and on the ballet, just to make those pop out a little bit more. And especially on the cursive, it gives it more of a calligraphy feel. And since on this spread, I'm not using any stickers, I kind of wanted my font or my hand lettering to stand out a little more. And I'm just going in adding additional plans and things. I'm marking some TV shows that I want to watch this week. So I'm not really a big TV watcher, but I do kind of want to keep up with Charmed. I know a lot of people don't like it. I thought it was pretty good. Um, I'm not really into comparing it to the original one. So, I mean, nothing is ever going to be as good as the original. So it just is what it is. Um, but I'll watch it for as long as I can stand watching, waiting every week to watch something. Also, Sabrina... I'm looking forward to that one, and Midnight Texas comes back this week, so excited to see that. And I did note that I'll be voting on, or doing the early vote on Tuesday, even though early voting started on Monday. And I'll do some grocery shopping on Thursday. And I have a thing on Sunday mornings where I watch the very old vintage Sherlock Holmes. So I'll do that this Sunday morning and then I'll be planning throughout the day. And now I'm just going in with a stencil from a stencil set that I recently hauled and trying to add a little decoration and also use it kind of to divide up the days of the week since I didn't just draw straight lines to divide everything up and adding the decor or decorative uh, scrolls and flourishes also helps with some of the things that I did not write exactly straight they're a little crooked that kind of draws the eye away from that so it's not so noticeable at least that's what I think about it um, and yeah, I forgot to add in the laundry, but yeah, I kind of just want to put in the main things that I have to worry about during the week. And then I decided to come in with the, the black cat, which is going to be a white cat, knowing that it's not really going to stamp well, but I will go in, as you'll see, and do a little something to help improve on that. I'm also going to stamp October 
so that when I look back on this, I'll know exactly what month this was for, even though I can pretty much tell with all the Halloween um, graphics and stamping. So I'm just going in with the gel pen again and highlighting just the edges of the word October. And I'm kind of doing the same thing with the cat, just highlighting the one edge of the cat so that it kind of looks like the moon is off to the left shining on those things. I don't know, that's kind of what I thought when I did that. And then I'm adding a few more flourishes just for interest. And to help divide the space, I'm using these diamond shaped dividers, which I thought were perfect for this spread to kind of divide things up a little more. And I go in and use those to kind of tie everything together as well. So we have a similar shape, even though it's not completely the same, it kind of draws everything together. And so some are longer, some are shorter. I didn't want to just go across and make everything exactly the same length. So I'm adding more flourishes or greenery. And I'll link to the stencil set down below or I'll put it up in the cards if I can. Now I'm going to get, get ready to put this in my planner and punch um, the holes once I find the center. Okay, <laughs> I was taking forever to punch the hole. I don't know why. But anyway. So now it's in the planner and this is the completed spread. So that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye.